natural position that occurs. I can turn on that back foot. I'm always turning it on the ball of the feet, and I'm in the 135 degree position, still obeying that first rule about the front leg is bent and the rear leg is stretched. Okay, but as I'm doing actions, I can turn on both feet again, and now I'm in that reverse 45 position. Okay, and I can be here, and I can go here, and I can bring this foot forward into that turn foot, which gives me that power, and I can turn it back again. We know that I can do the same thing by turning this leg back. Okay, but I also can, if I need to, if I need to, I could simply turn that back foot. And now I'm in a reverse 135 degree position. And no, my weight is not on the back foot. It's on both feet, the same as it is when it's here. It's still here on both feet, okay? So that's all I'm doing. And as I do this, okay, and as I move, there's, you see my feet are in opposite directions. And we see this in the sources. And occasionally, when you're going from a 45 to a 135, very briefly, your foot passes through a 90. And even very briefly, it'll be in this equilateral position here, okay? Before it ends up going to where you need to go. And this is all about leveraging, and this is all about the ability to strike at my target, hit, and 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 hit, and, hit. and you can see I'm in a turn foot position. But I didn't come into the turn foot, I didn't pass into the turn foot. The turn foot occurred on its own. All this is about short edge, long edge, short edge, long edge, short edge, long edge, turning cuts into thrust, thrust into cuts, and being able to do all these kind of, these actions that it's all about, our handiwork. This is why Fiora says, there's nothing in this art except for passing, advancing, retreating, passing, and turning. This is the turning. This is the keys of body. The keys are, they open and close. Yeah, we're opening and closing that, that, yeah, we're opening and closing it. So this is all occurring organically. This is all occurring, occurring holistically, which is why you see it in martial arts around the world throughout history, and this is why they don't put it into a doctrine. I don't have to teach you, I don't have to teach you to do this. You're just learning to do this on your own as you do actions. So that's your, you're doing this, and you're doing this, and you're doing this, and you're doing this. And you're not having, and it's all about for the purposes of, fine, gain, gaining that leverage, advantage, you know, gaining that ability to turn and to strike. This is the gaining the place of George Silver. And having won the place, I can strike you, cut you, thrust you, ward you without having to step again. Wow, it's all there. No master is contradicting themselves when they discuss footwork and movement. It all ties into acting in the instance, the mental time, and acting with fooling, feeling, sentiment, leverage, gauging pressure, it's all there. It's all about being in the movement, not being static. Yeah, it's wow. You know, and I don't have to teach these stances. They occur organically on their own as you learn to strike. As you learn to strike, you're also learning to ward the blows. Wow. Yeah. Brilliant. It's, it's so natural, so holistic. And I, I'm of the contention, as George Silver says, um, I'm of the contention that you cannot, will not, be able to do accurate medieval and renaissance fighting arts if you are not incorporating these foot motions into these stances. And as George Silver says, that is my resolution. Don't blame me for you missing it or you not being able to do it. All I'm doing is pointing at the obvious of what the masters are doing.